In this training, we're going to take a look at bulk actions inside of SmartSuite. This is where we perform one action, but it actually impacts a number of different records all at the same time. So if that's of interest, stick around and let's get into it. All right, jumping into any solution here inside of SmartSuite, let's go ahead and demonstrate some bulk actions that we want to take the same action, but impact multiple records with that information that we're keying in. For example, we might want to add a contract value of $10,000, but we want to do it to multiple records. The first thing we need to do is select the records that we want to impact with the bulk action. So it might be this one here, Peak Partners. I'll go ahead and make a selection there. It might also be the co-branding partnership, select that, and strategic partnership. Now that I have my records selected, now I can go into any one of those cells and enter an amount. Let's say 10,000 is the amount I want. I hit enter. Once I've done that, you'll see that all of those different records had that update here. You'll also notice that when I have selected multiple records, down here at the bottom, I get this little pop-up from SmartSuite that says, hey, you've got three records selected, and uh, whatever we're doing here, it's gonna impact all of those records, so be warned. I can also print, export, and delete records in bulk. I don't wanna do that here. Let's instead do another demo here, same idea where I'm gonna update an expected close date. Maybe this time I'm selecting these three records, and uh, we're adjusting this expected close date. Instead of September 29th, we're gonna move it to November 1st. Once I click done and save that information, you see that it updates in all three of those different records. So that's it for bulk updates. This is definitely gonna help you out when you're working in mass to update a lot of information all at once. So go back and rewatch anything you might've missed, and I'll see you in the next training. If you have any questions about what we covered in this training, please ask them below in the comments section of this video. And until then, we'll see you in the next training.